Hi, everybody. This demonstration is going to show you how the application Companion for Spotify can be used to enhance your Spotify experience by helping you find new releases and generating some AI-based playlists for your listening pleasure. This application is available on Android and on Windows-based platforms. If you're a music geek like myself, you look forward to finding the latest new releases every week for your favorite bands. And Spotify helps you with this by generating a release radar playlist just for you. And it selects the 30 new releases that it thinks you'll be interested in based on your listening habits. And you can see right here, here's my release radar and chose 30 songs for me. Unfortunately though, this is very limited. For many, 30 isn't enough. And on top of that, it sometimes won't find new releases from some of the smaller up and coming bands that you follow. And as I'm looking here at my release radar, I see at least five or six of the 30 that are pretty weird choices and not really related to anything that I listen to on a regular basis. Like, uh, you know, this artist right here is one that I've never heard of. And uh, that's kind of odd that it shows that for me. So Companion for Spotify, uh, solves that problem for you. Let's take a look at what it can do for you. It finds the new releases uh, for every single artist that you follow. And I'm going to bring up the options here so you can see how you can tailor this to your needs. Uh, the first thing you can do is configure which artist it should search for. And by default, it's going to look for all of the artists that you follow. And here's how you can see if you're following an artist or not. Uh, when you click on the artist right here, it will tell you if you're following the artist. And additionally, and of course you can click follow if you wanna follow them. Additionally, you can go to your profile and you can see right here that these are all of the artists and as well as the friends that you're following. So that's one way it lets you configure it. And additionally, you can include artists that you have saved to your library. And if you choose this option, it's gonna find new releases from every artist that has a song that you've liked. So here, I've liked all sorts of songs and you like a song by hitting the heart icon next to it. So, uh, so you can choose whether it uses all the artists that you follow or all the artists that you have saved to your library or a little bit of both. And one of the cool features that it can do for you too is it could also find all new releases from related artists. And those are artists that are similar based on genre or sound. And that's a great option to choose if you're in the mood to discover songs from new bands that maybe, or from bands maybe that you forgot to follow, or even a band that you might not have heard of. And a related artist you can see is if you click on a band right here in Spotify where it says fans also like. So that's what it considers a related artist. So let's kick off a search and let Spotify find all the new releases for me. Once it's done searching, it presents all the new releases to you. And you could, you can browse them if you want to, or you can load one up in Spotify. You can click on this right here and it'll launch Spotify and it'll take you to that playlist and you can go ahead and listen to those songs if you want to. That's one good way of just browsing your new releases or you can click add to playlist. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all these new releases for you and add them to the playlist of your choosing. So it defaults to uh, a playlist called Companion for Spotify New Releases, but you could type anything you want in here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna type in my test playlist and I'm gonna hit okay. And you can go over here to Spotify and you can see that it just created my test playlist and it added all of those songs for you. And of course I have 250 songs compared to the 30 that were in my new release radar. And it's gonna have, uh, you know, most of the bands in the new release radar that were correct. And it's gonna have all sorts of other bands that uh, are bands that I actually was following and that I wanted new releases for. And as you can see, it adds the entire album not just one song. So this is a proper new, re new release radar for me. It's got everything that's new in the last week or so or since I last checked. And uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for in a feature. So hopefully you find this useful as well. Next up, we're gonna talk about the updated playlist feature. If you're like me, you follow a bunch of playlists from both friends and industry tastemakers. And many of these playlists are updated daily or weekly with new songs that the playlist curators chose to add. 
Now, I like to know when new songs are added to those playlists so I can evaluate them and decide if I want to add them to my own library. So let me show you how I would achieve this in Spotify, and then I'll show you how Companion for Spotify makes this easier. As you can see here, these are all of the playlists that I follow from my favorite curators, and I follow quite a few. And I could click on each playlist and then sort them right here by the date that the songs were added. And by doing that, I can roughly see what the latest additions were. Um, so, you know, these are the ones that were added in the last month. And this might work for you if you follow a few playlists, but it would become quite tedious if you follow 20 or more like I do. So now let's head over to Companion for Spotify and look at the updated playlist feature right here. And when you select it, it's gonna search for all the playlists that you follow uh, for any updates since the last time you checked. So let's let this finish right here. And when it's done searching, it's gonna show you any of the playlists that have been updated since the last time you checked. And here it will tell you the date that they've been last updated. And you can drill down on the playlist to see all of the songs that were added. And while you're there, you can click on one if you want. And here, a quick 30 second sample of that song. And if you like the song, you can, of course, add it to your library. Or what I do is I generally just take all the songs uh, or take all the updated playlists and all the songs from all the updated playlists. And I click Add to Playlist. And here you can pick which playlist you're gonna add them to. So I'm gonna add them to the Companion for Spotify updated playlists. And that will take all of those songs and it will put them into the playlist of my choosing, which I can go to right here, Companion for Spotify, updated playlists. And now I can listen to this at my own leisure. You can see it just added a few seconds ago. It added all these songs. So this takes every single song that was added to the playlist that I follow since I last checked. And now I could spend my day or my afternoon reviewing all of these and check out what the latest is from my favorite curators. The new playlist feature is one that's pretty useful. And as you can see over here, I follow a bunch of playlists from some of my favorite curators, and I'm interested in knowing if they create any new playlists, as there's a good chance that I would be interested in following those as well. So with this feature, new playlists, let's click on that. I could do a quick scan, and it will tell me if any of these curators that I follow have created any new playlists since the last time I checked. And let's let it finish the search. As you can see right here, it found one. Uh, the curator Martin created a Duran Duran playlist and I could click on it and I could take a look at some of the songs that he put on it. Obviously a bunch of the Duran Duran singles if I want to, I can click on it and get a preview of it. And if this playlist looks interesting to me, I can follow it, click the follow button. And when I did that, it just showed up over here as me following the playlist. So again, this is a pretty cool feature if you wanna know if any of your favorite playlist curators, if they create something new, you wanna know it and uh, you could decide if you're interested in following it or not. So next up is one of my favorite features. It's called uh, Artists I Follow and this creates a randomized playlist for you based on the artists that you follow on Spotify. And this is great for either a radio station-like experience or if you wanna discover some new songs. And in many cases, you might only know a few songs from an artist and this feature might select a track from that artist that you haven't heard before. So here you can see, I'm gonna execute the artist I follow. And it picks out 25 or so songs for me to listen to. And I can of course click on add to playlist to save those songs to playlist of my choosing. So here I'll click Companion for Spotify Artists I Follow, I'll hit OK. And it just added all those songs to this playlist. So, and of course, if I don't like those songs it's selected, I could click the refresh button if I wanna generate a completely different batch of songs. And now here's where the fun clicks, uh, kicks in. If you click on options, you can see all the different ways that you can customize uh, the algorithm. If you select include related artists, it will pick random songs from not just the artists that you follow, but also from any artist that Spotify thinks is similar to the artists that you follow. And that's a fantastic feature if you want to discover some new artists. 
if you click on include artists saved to your library, then the AI generator will pick songs, not only from the artists that you follow, but also from any artist that has a song that you previously liked by clicking on the little heart icons. So that's pretty cool. And if you click on favor popular tracks, then the AI generator selects uh, uh, that when it's selecting a song, it will generally pick the more popular tracks from the artist. And that's a good option if you don't want your randomized playlist to be flooded with too many obscure songs. And finally, you can control the playlist size for how many tracks you want it to generate for you. So this is a feature that we recommend you play with quite a bit. Definitely a lot of fun for those that kind of want to listen to something that uh, somebody else curated for you. One popular feature available in Companion for Spotify is the ability to combine playlists. I have a lot of very targeted playlists, but at times I like to create a customized variety for let's say like when I'm going on a road trip, I might want to hear some music that's a combination of various playlists that I made. So over here, you can see that I have three different playlists for 2021 new releases. Each one caters to a different genre of music. And I might be in the mood to listen to all music in 2021 across all of those genres. So you could do that manually in Spotify, but it gets a little bit of tedious to do so. So in, Can in Companion for Spotify, you can click on the combine playlist options and you just select the playlist that you want to combine. So I've got these three right here. And I'm going to send them to uh, this playlist over here. So I click combine. Companion for Spotify, combine playlists, hit OK. And there you go. I have the content of all three of these playlists uh, have been merged into, not, not merged, but combined into this uh, ultimate destination playlist. Now I can go on the road and hit shuffle, and I've got a nice variety to listen to. Playlist swap is another great feature that we have that's great for discovering new music. Now what it does is it takes a playlist and creates a different playlist where each song from the original playlist is replaced by a different song from the same artist. So that's a fantastic uh, way when you have playlists where maybe you only know a few songs from some of the artists and you want to learn more. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go to playlist swap and I'm going to select a playlist and I'm going to choose this, this modern rock 2021 playlist, which is right here and I've got 50 songs in it. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it out. Now you can see that, let's get the sort the same. You can see that right here I had one, two, three, seven songs from the Sea at Midnight. So now I also have seven songs from them, but they're different songs. And then I had two songs from Typical Girls. There's two. And they're different songs from, uh, from the artist here. So I could go ahead and I could save this if I want to. Uh, so it's a nice way to, uh, like I said, get a little bit of variety from some of the playlists. Now, some options that we have are pretty cool. You can do a few things. If you choose include related artists, so now let me do that again, and I'm gonna regenerate, uh, I'm gonna redo this playlist, so. Wait. Okay, so here you can see, it still selected some songs from Sea of Midnight, but some of them are, uh, related artists like the, these three bands right here are bands that are related to see at midnight see control room is over here so that's a good way for it to um you know if you wanted to pick different songs from you from the same artist or similar artist and then the other feature we have is favorite popular tracks and you could choose this one if when it's swapping out the song, if you want it to swap it out with one of like the top five or 10 songs from that artist. So that's really up to you if you want it to be completely random or choose like some of the bigger singles. Again, this is just a really cool feature for taking a playlist that you have and getting a little bit of variety based on the same theme. The final feature that I'm going to demonstrate today is called Song Analyzer. Now, this is a great feature for people who curate a lot of playlists. So let's say I'm a curator and I make a weekly or a monthly playlist and I want to use a song, but I'm not sure if I used it before or not. So this tool lets me take that song and run a quick query on it and it will tell me if I've used it before in any of my playlists. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go over here and select 
this song and what I have to do is I'm going to copy the song link to the clipboard. Now I'm gonna go over here to song analyzer and I'm going to paste that song link. So it's now gonna search to see which playlist I've used this in. So let's wait a second. Okay, and so it's done. So this tells me that I have used this song and these three playlists. And so now that I know that, I can make a decision of if I wanna use it again in the mix that I'm making, or if I you know, think I've already used it enough and I don't wanna use it again. So again, this is just a tool for curators uh, if they want a, a quick, simple way. It kind of replaces a feature where as if Spotify were to let you search for a song across all of your playlists, that's what this is doing for you. That's gonna do it for the demo. Hopefully I've shown you some ways in which Companion for Spotify can help create unique listening experiences for you. The application's available on the Windows and Android app stores, and there's going to be some links in the information section below to help you get there. Have a good day, everybody.